welcome to this interesting series on introduction to programming. We at TechGatha strongly believe in building the foundation, making understand the concepts rather than just mugging up. As I always say, do not marry the language, instead understand the concepts behind it. In future, if you want to change to any new programming language, it's just a matter of learning the syntax of the new language if your base is strong. So here I am, Shalini Mittal, welcome you all aboard on this interesting video tutorials on Introduction to Programming. The language that we will be using to learn the basic programming concepts is Java. Now before we dive into what is Java and how do we use Java as a programming language, let's first understand why it is called as a language. Now as a kid, when you started learning communication, we always use a language to communicate. Whether it's English, Hindi, Marathi, Sanskrit, Tamil, French, German, Russian or whatever. When you learn a new language, you basically first learn the alphabets of that language. Combining which, you get words. Then you get sentences. Combining sentences, you get paragraphs. Combining paragraphs, you get pages. And combining pages, finally, you are able to create a book. Same way, now we need a, a mode of communication with the computers. Hence, a programming language. Here as well, the way here it's alphabets, we have characters. The way we have words, we have keywords or variables or identifiers. Don't worry about these jargons. Everything will be clear soon in the upcoming videos. Then combining these, we get statements. Combining statements, we get a block of code. We get a program and then finally combining all the programs, you are able to create a software application. Now, whenever you learn any language, we always learn the grammar or we can say the rules of that language. Same way, when you learn a programming language, you learn the syntax or the rules that govern how that language, language will be created and how it is going to communicate with the underlying operating system. Once you understand why it is called as a language, any programming language that you learn, you will be able to create these four types of programs. One, that is a console-based applications. For example, command prompt in Windows or terminal in Mac machines. These softwares or these applications understand character user interface. They don't have any graphical user interface to communicate. So don't use mouse. But instead, you type in the key from the keypad to interact with these software. Next is, we all use day in and day out, that is Windows or desktop based applications. MS Word, Google Chrome, PowerPoint, I can just name a list of all the desktop applications. Thirdly, we, do, we don't get out without a web based applications. You go onto the browser, connect to the internet, and you are connected to the world through the internet accessing any website available. Yes, indeed, you can create web-based applications. In Java, you do have something called as applets, which are nothing but small programs that can run on the browser. Lastly, we all know we are all on our palm held devices, that is mobile-based applications, Android, iOS, Windows to name a few which you can use to create a mobile applications. With this, we come to an end of this video. Next video, we will start exploring few of the Java features. Till then, happy learning, keep practicing and goodbye.